I am happy to report that the state of the state is strong and growing. But the governor says there are problems that need to be fixed, including filling a $200 million budget gap and providing property tax relief. We have to show our taxpayers that we get the message. The governor says his new proposal provides $4 billion in property tax relief over the next 10 years. Homeowners and farmers receive refundable credits when they file their state income taxes. Which ensures that Nebraskans, not absentee landowners, receive the credits. The governor has not given up on trimming the state's top income brackets, including it in his tax package. He quoted newly hired Husker head football coach Scott Frost in pulling together to get the job done. He offered a formula for winning that applies here. Senator Steve Erdman has offered his own property tax relief plan. I've never talked to one person that wanted income tax relief, not one. He says he will work with the governor but still supports allowing voters to decide. It's my full intent to support that petition drive. We'll get it on the ballot and then the legislature will have to make a decision in 2019 what they're going to do. The governor is calling for across the board spending cuts of 2 and 4 percent over the next two years. His plan spares K-12 education, corrections and services to developmentally disabled. But the University of Nebraska would be slashed by an additional $36 million. The governor wants to grow the state. Cutting the university, which is one of the number one ways that we recruit and retain young Nebraskans, isn't the way to go. I would like to see the governor support the university other than just the football team. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.